So this week we'll be learning all about the different kinds of storms. We're going to be focusing on weather. So our first word is pounding. I say it, you say it, pounding. pounding. Let's clap the syllables in pounding. Pounding. How many syllables in pounding? Scarlet. Two. Two syllables in pounding. What is my root word or base word of pounding? Um, Alexa, what's my root word or base word of pounding? Pound. Okay, notice up in my corner that I have that pounding is a multiple meaning word. Okay, so raise your hand if you've heard the word pounding before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word pounding means. What do you think the word pounding means, Melina? Okay, that something is being hit hard. And oftentimes when you're pounding something, you're doing it over and over again. Okay, so for example, you might pound a nail with a hammer. Okay, so you're hitting it. But in this case, when we're talking about pounding in terms of weather, we're talking about kind of like crashing. Okay, so I have pictures here like this. If you take a look at this one, it's actually moving. The waves are pounding. Okay, they're crashing over one another. The waves are pounding on this rock. But on this picture, I have a person pounding a nail with a nail. Is he going to get very far? No. No, because he doesn't have something strong or heavy with enough force behind it to create enough pressure to get that nail to go into the wood. I say you say it, pounding. Pounding. Our next word is bend. I say it, you say it, bend. bend. Let's clap the syllables and bend. Bend. How many syllables in bend? Let me find somebody who's here. Lily. How many syllables in bend? One syllable in bend. Um, raise your hand if you've heard the word bend before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word bend means. What does it mean, Logan, to bend? Okay, yeah, like maybe you bend your wrist. Does it break? No. Oftentimes if you bend something, it doesn't break. But if you bend it too much, could it break? It could, but oftentimes when we're talking about something bending, we're oftentimes talking about it not breaking. You're not bending it to the point where it breaks. So to bend something means to cause it to curve. Okay, so to cause something to curve. So they bent this, it's curved. This person is doing a back bend, okay? So we, when we bend something, we're hoping that we bend it, but don't cause it to break. I say it, you say it, bend. Bend. Our next word is reach. I say it, you say it, reach. Reach. Let's clap the syllables in reach. 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 Leo, how many syllables in reach? One. One syllable in reach. Raise your hand if you've heard the word reach before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word reach means. What does it mean to reach? Kira? It means like you're like, it means like you're reaching. Remember, we try not to use the word in there. You're trying to like grab something that's really high. Okay, maybe you're trying to get something that's high up. Maybe you can't reach it, but you're trying, right? Does anyone have anything else to add to that? Okay, so maybe something could reach a certain height. Okay, maybe something could reach a certain height. Okay, so this week we're re the word reach means to get as far as. Okay, so we have some people maybe you might have heard the the um, the saying reach for the stars. Okay, are you ever going to catch them? No. no. But you're trying, right? So to go or to get as far as. I say you say it, reach. Reach. My next word is damage. I say you say it, damage. Damage. Let's clap the syllables in damage. Damage. How many syllables in damage, Eli? How many syllables? Damage. Two syllables in damage. Raise your hand if you've heard the word damage before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word damage means. Sophia, what do you think the word damage means? Maybe something's broken. 
Okay, what else could we add to that? Adeline? Okay, so maybe it doesn't work. Okay, it's beyond repair. And if you're like, like going with the muscles in the tool. Okay, yeah, maybe you bend something too much and it breaks, right? Okay, so the word damage means to cause harm. Okay, so these are just some photographs of damage that has been caused by a storm. Okay, just some photographs of things, damage that has been caused by a storm. I say, you say it, damage. Damage. My next word is prevent. I say, you say it, prevent. Prevent. Let's clap the syllables and prevent. Prevent. How many syllables in prevent? Kira. Two syllables in prevent. Okay, raise your hand if you've heard the word prevent before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word prevent means. What do you think, Leo? Mm-hmm. You're going to prevent something from happening. What are you doing? Like blocking it? Maybe blocking it. Okay. Melina, what could we add to that? To yeah, you're doing what you can to try to stop it. Okay. Does that necessarily mean that you're going to be able to? Um, no, but you might be able to try to lessen the damage. So the word prevent means to stop from happening. Okay, so for example, the goalie's job in soccer is to stop the ball from going into the net. That's their job. They try to prevent the ball going into their team's net. Okay, this gate that is locked is there to prevent people that aren't supposed to be there from coming in. Okay, so some, to prevent something means you're trying to stop it from happening. I say it, you say it, prevent. Prevent. My next word is beware. I say it, you say it, beware. Beware. Let's clap the syllables and beware. Beware. Dylan, how many syllables in beware? Two syllables in beware. Raise your hand if you've heard the word beware before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word beware means. What do you think, Scarlett? Be to be careful. Yeah, to use caution. Okay, to use caution. Okay, so the word beware means to be careful, to use caution. Okay, so you might see a sign that says beware of dog. Okay, that simply means that you need to be mindful that there's a dog here and the dog isn't intending to hurt you, but it could, right? And then we have a railroad crossing there. That's a a symbol or a sign that we see within our community that lets us know that we need to be mindful that trains may be passing on that railroad track. I say you say it, beware. Beware. And my next word is flash. I say it, you say it, flash. Flash. Let's clap the syllables and flash. Flash. How many syllables in flash? Mario. How many syllables in flash? One. One. Good morning. Are you hot one? Okay, take off your gloves. They can't give you hand sanitizer with gloves on. Okay, notice that I have flash is a multiple meaning word. Okay, so we're looking for flash in terms of weather. Okay, Okay. raise your hand if you've heard the word flash before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word flash means. Baden, what do you think the word flash means? Like if a lightning strikes like a lightning bolt. Yeah, and it's quick, right? So when we're thinking of weather, we're thinking of lightning. It's a quick or sudden burst of light. It's quick, okay? Now we say that flash is a multiple meaning word because, for example, if someone takes a picture, what do you see? Sometimes a flash, right? That sudden, quick burst of light. Okay, so flash is a quick burst. Um, oh, there it is. I was going to say, where is it? So there's my flash of lightning coming. It's dark now, but it's sudden. Okay, but then this is a flash on a camera. So just like a, a, a flash of lightning, a flash on a camera is the same thing. It's the same basic concept. It's a quick sudden burst of light. I say you say it flash. Flash. My next word, I think we have one more, is equal. I say you say it equal. 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 Let's clap the syllables in equal. Equal. Baden, how many syllables in equal? Two. Two syllables in equal. 
Raise your hand if you've heard the word equal before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word equal means. What do you think, Scarlett? It's the, same the same amount. Yeah, we should be pretty familiar with this word because we see it all the time in math with the equal symbol. Okay, so it's the same as. So I have my equal symbol here, and I have this here. This is called a balance scale, and if you remember when we started learning about solids last week, we learned that we can measure the mass of a solid by using a balance. And in math today, we're actually going to be using a balance scale to measure the mass of some objects. So equal simply means the same amount of size. Okay, equal means the same as. We're equal. Everybody has the same thing. I say you say it equal. Equal. Okay, and that is our last word.